Hallelujah. Glory. Praise the <laughs> Lord, baby Jeebus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Savage Reaction crew, I'm David. I'm Angie. I'm a little bit of everything. I'm a whole lot of rock and roll. Hallelujah, you are. It is uh, Tommy, Tommy Johansson Thursday. Yo. Just, just, his group of followers have a name, like Dan Bass's followers are Vask Nation. The Johanssonites. Tom, Mc, Tom McDonald's, or uh, Hangover Hog, Gang, yeah. Hog. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious. The Johanssonites. The Whoever you are, Tommy whatever you call yourselves, yeah. we love you and we feel like we're part of the gang. Yeah, so. I love watching Tommy. I love watching Tommy. All of his stuff. Absolutely love watching Tommy. It's now, Tommy Thursday. We it's... are at a crossroads. Every version of this song that we're doing pales in comparison to the Jeff Buckley version. Yeah, so this I'm is just... it's Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. Yeah. Wait, you know what I forgot to do before we get into it? Subscribe, like, share, ring a little bell. comment down below helps the algorithm. So, yeah, Jeff Buckley does I, the and I love it's just it's just I mean come it's on, it's man. intense. Yeah, it's um, it's so melodic and pulls, heartfelt. Yeah, from draws your heart, you in. And yeah, you feel like you're part of the it's, song and you're engrossed in it. The and way he not only the way he plays guitar, the way he emotes his. His wording, nope. his, like the his phrasing, I should say, his phrasing, the like you said, the way he he'll get strong at certain points, perfect points in the song, yep. and then bring it back, and um, the way he holds his notes out. I, I love Jeff Buckley's version of this song. I'm excited to see what Tommy can do because everything I've seen Tommy do is outstanding. He he and Dan turn things gold. Gold. Yeah. I mean, and if it's already gold, they turn it platinum. Yeah. <laughs> or diamond. Whatever. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. So well, let's check it out. Let's just do this, man. Let's get into this. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. This I'm was sure on the you're ready. This was on the request list, so I'm I'm sure they're ready. Yeah. So without further ado, let's ready? get into this. Ready? Three, two, one. A secret chord David played when he pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this The fourth, the fifth, the minor falls And the major left The Bethel King composed in high That's all Tommy. He layers his voice like Freddie Mercury used to do too. Yep. That's I, I love his ba his own backing vocals. Absolutely.
<laughs> Every time at the end of his videos, he hits us with that smile at the end. He's adorable. You know what? So here's my feelings on it. You got feelings? I, I got feelings on it. We just went through the same thing with the Dan Bass song earlier this week. I have the same feelings that I like this as much as the Jeff Buckley version. But, but for different reasons. For different reasons. And I'd have to be in the mood. If I want to be mellow and chill and um, just, you know, get in my feels, I I'm going to listen to the Jeff Buckley version. If I want to feel, feel good and smile about it and rock out, I'm going to listen to Tommy's version of it. I like them both equally. Nope. And it'll just depend on my mood, which one I want to hear. Yeah. I, I think it was outstanding. He did a great job. I love what he did with it. I love the guitar. I love what he did with it. I love his yeah, Tommy-isms. His, his vocal arrangements and stuff like that. It was all very good. Yeah. I mean, it was it was very full. It was very full song musically. That's yeah. the difference, too, between that and the Jeff Buckley version. The Jeff Buckley is so stripped, stripped down, down and acoustic. Yeah. And this... You had your you know, piano, your guitar, piano, his guitar, own backing bass, vocals. Backing vocals, all the things. Yeah. And so it was very full and rich yeah. musically in addition to um, his vocal chops that he threw in there. And so. the, the power he threw in there, with uh, as Tommy does. Yeah, as you do, notes. Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. it was great. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Like, it, it, it was hard going into it before we even started this video. We were like, I'm not sure how we're going to feel about this because we love Jeff Buckley's version so much. But I, I do. I love this as much as Jeff's. I, it just depends on my mood, which version I'm going to listen to. Well, there you go. What about you guys? What do you think? Comment down below. Let us know. Do you like it as much as the uh, Well, not the original per se, but, you know, is the Jeff Buckley version that we're talking about? Or is there another version that you like better or, uh, from somebody else? Or we're willing to, to hear that. We probably won't agree, but... <laughs> I, I might kidding, I, I might not listen to a chick version of it. No, I'll, I'll admit no. that from the I wouldn't, top. I wouldn't I'm, even. I wouldn't even. I, I I don't mind female singers, but I wouldn't listen to a girl version of this song. It's just now too much too much history in my life. Too many, you know, it's associated with too many things. That I, I just yeah, if a chick sang it, I'd just be like, it eh. wouldn't have the same. No. Yeah. So all right, you guys. Well, thanks Let for hanging know. with us and. Um, Check out our videos from earlier this week, and then tomorrow is um, it's gonna be a different K KJP one that we haven't yeah. we haven't even heard this group before. There so. you go. So, yeah. you know, make sure you uh, check back with it. check back in with us. The so, words, man. The, the words. words. I can't <laughs> make the words come out. But until next time, peace. Rock on.